Hello everyone. Today we're going to go over how to do 301 redirects for pages that when crawled they're showing up as 404 pages so they need 301 redirects to the correct page. There could be many reasons why you need this but we're not going to go into that. We're just going to show you how to fix it. So we'll go to google.com slash webmasters. We'll sign into webmaster tools. Oops. I have to log in. Okay, go to one of our sites. Now you notice that first there's the www dot and the and the non www dot. Now if we go to each of these and we go to the crawl errors, on this one there's no errors on the www. But if we go to the other one, there's 42 errors. And you can see over time, you know, this one they it's quite a few errors. So uh, the, the point is you got to check both uh, and if you don't have one um, signed up for Google Webmasters you have the other I recommend you get them both verified. If you verify one you can verify the other. Uh, you just do that. That's important um, for other reasons we won't get into now. But uh, let's say all these sites here are getting response code 404. So let's test one out. Not found. Okay, so for WordPress in particular, what we're going to do is we're going to go to log into the back end. There's a plugin called Redirection that I have installed. And that plugin is right here. Now this is where we add a new redirection. So we'll go, we'll grab this URL, we'll copy it, paste it here, and we'll take Jacksonville Data Center, or ja we'll just type in. So we got to find the correct page on the website. Unless you deleted it altogether, if you did delete it altogether, you can just leave it on Google Webmaster Tools, and eventually it will remove itself. But this page actually still exists on our website. We just changed the URL for some reason or another. Like I said, there's many reasons why this might change. So we're gonna uh, copy that, the new one, paste it here, add redirection, go back to Webmaster Tools, and do mark as fixed. Now, it was last crawled on the 22nd. It was first detected on the 18th. It's going to be crawled again within the next couple of days. These errors will no longer be listed. Yep. Okay. So, what, what, now we would do that for each one of these. Now, there's going to be... Now, these are pretty straightforward. There For WordPress in general, there might be some with a slash feed at the end. And if we go to this, anything with a slash feed is going to bring us to our RSS reader and we know like this feed we don't want this to show anywhere so I'm just gonna copy the link address because I want it to go to the main feed right and just go add redirection so that's a simple fix for the feeds because for some reason depending on what uh, you're using WordPress as it, and how you have things set up it could have feeds for everything and uh, sometimes you don't want that and for some reason Google picks those pages up but just be careful on clicking on links with a feed at the end for WordPress sites because it's going to take you to RSS reader it's not going to take you to the page so we'll mark that uh, for some others like just author now on this site I actually that would be a category and I know for this site, like that page was removed. I don't want it anymore. So I'm just going to redirect it to the home page. The thing with 301 redirects is you want to link back to the page that either, either if you change the URL, then link it to that page if it's the same content. You want to link it to a page with the same or similar content. If you remove the page altogether and the page was getting some sort of traffic, uh, I guess it's okay if you had to remove that page. I guess it's okay to the best thing would to be would be to create a new page with similar content and link it to that page. Less, le, uh, 
last case scenario would be to link to your home page which is uh, okay in some cases right but uh, that's last case scenario um, so there's you know there's a bunch of stuff then there's things like what is this this is some weird thing right now the weird stuff we don't even have to bother um, with it if it's only a couple here and there uh, this is probably this this actually was a PHP error that came up and we don't even have to bother with it because uh, you know Google it's not getting any traffic it doesn't really matter that page right there's no link juice flowing from it or anything it's just an error I fixed the error I, I remember the PHP error that I was giving so things that are weird like this you can just leave unless there's like a thousand of them then you got an issue with your you know you know you have an issue and uh, you know you maybe want to look into it if you already fixed it then you can either you can just leave them um, but the pages that you know have links going to it you, you definitely want to make sure you redirect them because otherwise you're gonna lose those links the link juice um, so for all of these other pages we're gonna want to get them to the correct one and don't forget there's more pages down here you can also download all these links um, I don't even know if there's a way you can upload masses amount of links I don't think you can but that is redirecting 301s for WordPress